I wanted to learn how to do bullfighting so that I could better paint it. I found my earlier bullfight paintings rough, without passion, without life. I decided I better learn it so that I could paint it better. You learned bullfighting so you could paint it better. Yes. That's wonderful. Yeah. Hi, I'm Kate. I'm an artist and a bullfighter. Except that I did it backwards. <laughs> I was supposed to say bullfighter and artist. You're a bullfighter? Where do you bullfight? Mexico, Spain, Ecuador, California, Texas. What was your favorite uh, bullfighting experience? Probably Ecuador because I felt like I did the very best that I had done in a long time and I got to bullfight with a very well-known Ecuadorian matador. Have you killed any bulls? Yes. How many? Two. Two? How many fights have you done? About 200. This is from my first kill. Now that's Reynosa, Mexico, from my second kill. Looks dangerous. I've been beat up a little bit. I think my first professional bullfighter has lifted in the air 20 feet and landed right on my tush. It was kind of hard. <laughs> Have you broken anything? Yeah, I've broken uh, this clavicle. Oh my. I've broken ribs. Uh, for a while I had a nice little scar the size of a hoof over here, but it's kind of disappeared now. Took some skin off. Had concussions. <laughs> Gotten broken toes, oh torn my. fingernails off. Ooh. That's when I learned to clip my fingernails before a bullfight. This is your cape that you fight with? This is the capote. This is used for your preliminary passes and lenses. This is the cape that's used in the last tercio or the last third of the bullfight. It's what you use for when the animal's a little bit more tired, you're bringing them closer to you. Who's this on the ledge? That's Paco. This is a sword case that was owned by Jose Ramon Torado. He was pretty big in the 80s. I've got some of his swords here. Which I've used for killing. This one. It's curved because you're going over the horns into the aorta. That's where you want to go. You got a new sword fighting partner here. <laughs> yes, yes, he thinks this is great fun. So who's this? This is Seymour. He's called Seymour because he's down there and he has a good vantage point and he can see more. He's what a, is he? He's a Mongolian muskox. Is it true that after a kill you get to keep the ears? If you do a good job you get awarded an ear. If you do really good you get two ears. And if you do really really good you get two ears and a tail. Do you have any ears or tails? I do have ears from separate bullfights. Can we see them? Sure. This is one. And the other one from a different bullfight. Life is precious. Every